Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Passive Income Lifestyle Series. I'm your host, Travis Watts, the Director of Investor Development here at Ashcroft Capital. In today's episode, what we're talking about is 94% taxes and a brief history lesson for investors. Disclaimers, as always, not legal advice, not tax advice, not financial advice for educational and informational purposes only. Please always seek licensed financial and tax advice. So with that said, you know, taxes have been around in this country since the 1700s, and they kicked off with these tariffs and these excise taxes. But I want to give you a quick history lesson on basically where these taxes even came from in the first place, how they developed and how we got to where we are today. And most importantly, stay till the end because I wanna show you what the advantages are for you as we move into 2024. So I'm gonna skip the early origins of the taxes back in the 1700s. And I wanna start at a place where the tax system really started to materialize in the way that we all recognize and know it today. And that all started with the Civil War. In 1862, the IRS was founded under President Lincoln. The Revenue Act of 1862 lasted 10 years, and this was the first progressive tax system that we had seen as a country. 3% of your income was taxed from $600 up to $10,000, and there was a 5% tax for anyone making 10,000 or more. An automatic tax withholding was first introduced at this point as well, which meant that the employer would have to withhold taxes before paying the employees and send it directly to the government. Now, this tax system was intended to be temporary. It was in order to pay for the debts that were incurred from the Civil War. Once those debts got paid, then taxes could either come down or go away at that point. But that's not what happened as we fast forward to 1913. This was the first permanent income tax system introduced to the United States. The tax brackets range from 1% up to 7%. And that's what makes it progressive. The more you earn, the more you get taxed. So someone getting taxed at 1% back then, that was up to $20,000. And anyone paying a 7% tax was making over $500,000 in 1913, which would be a ton of money, by the way, in today's dollars. Now we fast forward to World War I. Back in 1913, that top marginal tax bracket rate was 7%. By 1916, it jumped all the way up to 15%. And by 1917, it skyrocketed all the way up to 67%. And once again, this was war-related. It was to pay for the debt of World War I. Now we fast forward to the Great Depression, 1933, FDR is president. They passed the Banking Act of 1933 and the Securities Act of 1933. And by 1935, they also introduced what we now know as the social security system that we have in place. Minimum wage was also introduced. And by 1936, the top tax bracket reached all the way up to 79%. Now we fast forward to 1945, World War II had already unfolded, it had been ongoing for a series of years, and the top tax bracket here in the U.S. peaked out at 94% as FDR passed. Now that's a crazy, crazy thing to think about, paying 94% of your income in taxes. And for some perspective, from 1940 to 1963, that's 24 years, the top marginal tax bracket was hovering between 81% and 91%. These are extremely high, as you can imagine. So finally, in comes President John F. Kennedy, 1963. The Revenue Act of 1964 is what it officially became. He says, hey, let's take a step back here. Why are we paying all these crazy taxes? I'm for reducing taxes. So it goes into effect under Lyndon Johnson because JFK had passed away. And they cut the top line marginal tax bracket down from 91% all the way down to 70%. And they also cut the corporate tax rate from 52% down to 48%. So fast forward to 1981, the president is Ronald Reagan and he proposes one of the largest tax cuts in US history. In fact, he cut the top line marginal rate down from 70% to 50%. 
He cut the bottom line taxes from 14% down to 11. He cut capital gains rates from 28% down to 21. And by the way, this was during the same period of time where IRAs were first introduced here in America, individual retirement accounts. Now I'm gonna pause for a moment. I wanna fast forward to today's time. I'm gonna skip over all the tax reforms and presidents and bring us right into 2024, where we have a top marginal tax rate of 37%. And by the way, most Americans aren't paying 37%. They're paying far less than that, but that's the top brackets. And today, investors really have the upper hand, wealthy or not, doesn't matter because the long-term capital gains rates for investors holding assets longer than one year is 0%, 15%, or 20%, depending on your particular situation. Again, that applies to investments held longer than one year, plus there's real estate bonus depreciation in the tax code and still regular depreciation on real estate in the tax code, which can further help you reduce taxable income. So a few takeaways I wanna leave you with in this episode. Number one, tax rates today are much lower, relatively speaking, to many periods of time throughout US history. Number two, while the tax system may not be going away anytime soon, there are things that you can do that are within your control to help offset your tax burden. A couple of those would be investing in something, holding it longer than one year so that you're eligible to qualify for long-term capital gains rates, which are tax favored, or to invest in real estate as we do here at Ashcroft Capital for the bonus depreciation or at least the regular depreciation and help offset some of that taxable burden. So if you're looking to learn more about multifamily commercial real estate here in 2024, want to know more about how you can get involved, we'd love to have a call with you. You can reach out to Travis at ashcroftcapital.com or you can visit ashcroftcapital.com for current offerings and opportunities. We've got a full team and staff ready to help. We'd love to get to know you, your goals, and what it is you're looking to achieve and see if there's a way that we can help. You're listening to the Passive Income Lifestyle Series right here at Ashcroft Capital. Appreciate you being here. Until the next episode, stay safe and have a great week.